okay so this is adobe dimension and from here if you are new you can take a tour but i'm here to take you guys through so there is nothing to worry about so we're gonna go straight to create a new file or we can open a file if we have something saved but you're gonna click the three dots beside the create new file and from here we can choose the unit that we want either pixels meters or centimeters i'm going to set the resolution to 300 and pixel per inch all right and from this drop down we can select the scene units of measurement that we want all right so we are taking centimeters all right so let's get into it so it is the workspace we got the tools bar at the left and these are starter assets don't worry i'll take you guys through the tools bar these are the starter assets that we have the basic shapes and if you scroll down you have the models the one that i already made for you to drag and drop and use them so you have a lot of them and drag down you have these are materials that you can apply to the surface of the model all right so they determine the texture or the, the look that you want and these are lights so we have directional lights and we have environmental lights all right and i will take you guys through all right and these are images that we can use as backgrounds or we can apply them onto a model as a decal or fill and from up here you can filter them by materials shapes or back images or lights all right so you can toggle them through and on the right side we have properties and we have scenes now the scenes act as layers just as we have layers in photoshop by here it's called scene so any model or shape that you add to the scene or the environment the name will appear and you can alter their properties from this side of the workspace all right so let's start doing something i don't want to start with a basic shape so i would rather go for a can i'll drag and drop it to wherever i want and it will load or let me undo that click once and it will be added to the scene just like that simple and now you can see we have the beverage can here and with um sub names pool ring and the can that you can actually change its properties separately the pool ring is a ring on top for opening it and the can now let's talk about actions the first one is delete if i select click delete it will be deleted from the scene i will go and click and add it back and the next one is duplicate that you can click to duplicate when you duplicate it will be added within so you can see it so unless you drag it to the side that you can see i'll go ahead and undo that this one is a group in case you have multiple objects that we need to group and the last one move to ground in case we have this model in the air that we want to bring it to the ground you just click that and it will be added to the ground so suppose this is in the air like this all right then i go and click it to be added to the ground just like that so this arrow moves models up and down the plane and this one moves them on the x axis and this one moves them on z axis and if you click on this dot on this blue circle right here you can rotate the model on the z axis like that this one can bring it up and down let me go ahead and undo that this green bar will rotate it on the y-axis and these squares helps you to scale you can scale on the z-axis x-axis and the y-axis so right now i'm scaling on the y-axis this is how it will look you can also scale on the x-axis then you can scale on the z-axis let me undo that and if you hold any of these three squares then you add shift you can scale uniformly both the x y and z axis so i will scale it up like this then start talking about the tools panel so the first tool is the select tool and with this tool you can select any model then move around the whole scene any place that you want to place a model your object you can do that the next tool is the magic one tool this tool just as in photoshop helps you to select tiny or smaller models on the scene and the next one is the sampler tool that helps you to sample colors from models onto different models and with this orbit tool you can move around the scene below eye level at the eye level and even above the eye level all right so this is what this tool does and the next tool is the pan tool and 
then with this tool you can actually move around or look around when the object is actually in the same place and you can turn the camera around so that's the pan tool and together with the orbit tool you can just move around and view the whole environment all right so that's that and the next tool is the dolly tool and this helps you to dolly in and out or uh, same way it looks like zooming in and zooming out and together with the uh, orbit tool you can actually have a bird eye view just dolly in dolly out and this all that this tool can also do so you can have a view from far and close and there's the zoom tool you know what it does already and the hand tool you can just position the canvas correctly or just the way that you want and from there we can actually move to the materials and from here you can ap apply a glass to it so you just like the you have the object selected and you click on the glass and it will do the job and you can have a different material this one is a glow doesn't make sense on this material you can have um, this one too on that and you can have a metal have a shiny surface can rotate that that's a sphere or whatever you can see the rotation <laughs> so okay so you can apply this guy onto that you can try them out so the one that suits you or that has to what fit the model you are modeling or the object you are modeling then you go for that all right so when you come to the scene panel we can toggle off the pool ring or the can itself the pool ring is on top so you can see it and we can toggle the can on and off so you just see it's left with the pool ring and if you click the arrow next to it it will review the properties and from here you can change the color you can choose hex or any other type that you want and you can click here to import your own image onto the surface which i will show you how to do that very shortly we will import our own image onto the surface and you can also toggle the roughness of the surface if you increase it it becomes dull, less shiny if you bring it down it becomes shiny so you can toggle that and you can also toggle the opacity and the metallic if you want it to be more metallic you just leave it up or you can bring it down to reduce the metallic look and you can glue up or glue down and as for the translucence i'm not going to talk about that you can toggle them up if you want so i'll go back now let's try and add something onto the surface so first of all let me add plastic material onto the surface so i'll go to materials and click on this plastic all right then after that i will head to images and add one of these images onto the surface of the can make sure the can is selected so you can drag onto the surface to load you can also click once just as we did earlier the default placement is decal so it's not gonna fill the whole can but you can stretch from here and it will stretch up trying to meet the other side of the level and you can move the label around the can as long as you have the select tool selected and the next option that you have is the fill so you can choose fill and it will fill the whole can now let me move so that you can see the top and the bottom it fills every part of the can now in case you don't want this you can also come here and upload your own image forget about these guys if you click this you can select your own image so i'll select my cook graphics background and it will be filled onto the can and this area allows you to adjust the offset on the x-axis and the y-axis just try them out yourself toggle them and see what they do so if you bring the roughness down it will become more shiny if you toggle the metallic upwards it become more metallic it's all up to you so let me go ahead and undo all that so in case you want to select the label you can double click if you have the select tool selected you can double click on the label and the label will be selected and you can tweak that and also you can drag in your logos onto the surface you just go to the folder that you want and you drag in the label that you want you just 
drag onto the don't drag onto the background but onto the model and if you click on this square up here together with shift you can scale uniformly all right so you can rotate you can place as many images as you want on this can and if i go to the options and click fill it will fill it up so you can just place as many as you want So we are done with this guy let me place it aside and go to the models and bring in another model before we start talking about lights so i'll drag and drop in this coffee cup let me scale it up and as soon as i drop it the name will appear on the scene panel so we have the cup and the lid and i'll click the arrow on the lid layer and it will review the properties and from there i can choose the color i want for the lid so i choose this color i will go back and as you can see you can toggle the rotate and the scaling up you can add models onto oh sorry you can add materials onto the lid if you want so let's go ahead and change the color of the body or the cup so I'll click the arrows to review the properties and I'll go ahead and change the color. And as I said, you can choose image or you can sample a color from another model. All right. So this is the color I want. You can toggle the metallic roughness. Always you can toggle them out. Then for the materials of the cup, I will add a cardboard and then toggle it properties. So as soon as you add a material, you can just go into the properties and toggle them. I just toggle, 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 try them yourselves and you become perfect with them. Now I'm done. I want to add my logo. I'll just go to the folder, drag and drop my logo. Very simple onto the model. Then you just keep adjusting the size and the positions that you want. Now I'm done with the coffee cup. I'll put it aside and go back to the models and bring in a shopping bag. Now I'll drag and drop it onto the scene. And with this, I can just rotate them on the Y axis or on the X axis. So I'll go ahead and scale it on the Y axis. And in case you don't want to click on that tiny arrow, you can click on this icon, select material and the properties will come. And from here, you can change your colors. Then after that, I will go to materials and add a plastic materials onto the shopping bag to make it have a plastic look. And you can always toggle the surface, how it looks, the texture, everything. Then after that, you can go back and come and click on this icon place graphics on material and you can select your graphics that you want to place so i'll choose my logo and place it on the back so that circle thing at the top of this you can use it to rotate the graphics or your logo let me scale it up a little bit then you can position it wherever that you want so now we are done we need to create a scene with that or arrange them in a way that we can apply environmental lights and directional lights to them so just position them to any place that you want and you can use the orbit to to take a bird eye view so that you can know um, the spaces between each model all right and then you can be rotating them manipulating just do whatever you want as long as you have the power all right so the next thing i'm going to talk about is bookmarking a camera view so what we are looking at right now is a camera view so in case you want to save this camera view for later reference uh you can just come and click on this icon right here click the plus then you can give the view a name that you want all right so for me i'll choose view one all right so in case we move the camera to a different angle and we don't want that angle but we prefer the previous angle we just go back there and choose the view that we saved or we bookmarked all right and it will take us back to the previous camera view and this icon next to the 
uh, bookmark icon is the render preview and if you click on that it will show you how the work will look after rendering it so it's time to add a background image you can drag and drop from your folders as we did with logos or you can choose one of these background images so if you click it will be added and as a beginner you have to let adobe match your models to the background image for you so you can just go and click below the actions that we have the match image you click that and as a beginner you leave everything don't touch anything and you go ahead and click ok and your models will be matched to the background including the lightning and everything so if you don't like the direction of the light you can go to the lights and choose both the environmental lights and the directional lights so if you click on this first directional light you can determine the source of the light from the shadows all right let me scale the bag a little bit and place it right here so from here you can just play with the lights and and everything so as you can see from the scene i click many times that's why we have multiple lights over there so we can go ahead and delete the rest and leave only one and you can play along with the intensity of the light the rotation all right so if you rotate the light you have to send it back or in front sideways wherever position that you want you, you can rotate the light to that and also the height either to bring the light source coming up from the top or the bottom wherever that you want just toggle them up as you play along so you can choose any environmental light just play along with all of them as long as you have the control z on your keyboard you can undo that and try another one let me click on this one i know every beginner will click on that to see what it does so this is it <laughs> all right so let me undo that now we are done so let's head straight to render all right so you can either preview that to see or have a taste then after that you can click render and from here we have a uh, current view you set that to current view and you can choose the name for that I will choose my name and from this drop down if you choose high it's actually gonna render it slow all right so you can choose to save it as psd file only or png only and you can also check both of them so and down here you can change the location that we want to render or save this file in and it will go ahead and estimate the time it will take to render all right so we are done rendering and let's go straight up into the folder that we saved this file in as psd all right so let's open it up okay so we've opened it up in photoshop and you can toggle that you don't need that right now and we have two render layers one with noise one without noise so you can choose the one with noise the one without noise it's all up to you and you can take away the background image all right and add your own background image in photoshop all right and if you don't want any background image you can go ahead and change the solid color it's all up to you and from here you can take your manipulation skills in to it speak <laughs> whatever <laughs> let me try it out i'll just i can just bring in this image then i can resize these guys and place them on that thing all right so as you can see they look so great so let me undo that and you can go ahead and change the solid color as i said all right so you can have this color and you can bring in this palm front and place it somewhere that will make it look nice and attractive and with this same approach you can create different mockups for many brands or models just like this all right so as i said i don't want my viewers or subscribers to be downloading mockups from the internet you can just do your own mockups all right and that's it guys if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel like this video click post notification and leave a comment below i'm gonna reply all right so i'm out peace